Hi Glow students and welcome to your second video in your hair extension certificate. Now we're going to show you a full head install of microbead extensions. For this tutorial you will need your loop pull, which is this long gadget here. You will need your tail comb, pliers to clamp the bead shut, You'll also need your microbead eye tips, and also these beads, which will come should come with every hair order you get. To place the beads on the hair, you just grab. Sorry, to place the beads on the loops, you just grab your little bead, pull it over the top, slide it down. Do this until it's probably about three quarters away full. You want to leave it enough so you think you can fit two fingers comfortably through there. Okay, so what we do first, you would have already sectioned your client's hair off and now you're ready to do the first install, leaving three centimeters, one to three centimeters of hair down the bottom and we'll do, also do the same for the sides. So I want to start in the middle. We're going to grab a nice thick bit of hair, just probably divide that. This is going to sound a bit weird, but you need to leave enough hair. It needs to be thick enough so it's enough for the bead and the natural hair to grab onto, and the micro bead to grab onto. But it also can't be too thick, otherwise your beads aren't going to go through. So probably about that much is adequate enough, and it's probably about in thickness on the side. The width is about one centimeter. So you want to pull it nice and tight. And if you pull it nice and tight, you can envisage a nice square at the base. You probably can't see it on the video, but when you pull it, it forms a nice square shape. So now it's going to grab our loop pull, pull the natural hair through. So that joins onto the natural hair, grab your bead, slide it up. Okay, this will take a bit of getting used to, so don't worry if you don't get it the first time. Hold your bead in place. Grab your hair. Now we insert the hair through the tip, through the bead. Okay, now to pull it up, you can pull tension on your client's hair, which is down here, and that's not going to hurt them because the tension you're taking away from the scalp and you're putting into the main bulk of the hair. Now you want to put that probably one centimetre under the scalp, one to three centimetres under the scalp so it's not sitting there digging into the scalp. So here's the scalp. So you want to put it one to three centimetres down, so probably there. You don't want it sitting right in the scalp otherwise it will cause discomfort for your client and it will cause irritation, could cause bleeding and um, a sore if it is putting too high. Just hold that in place, pull the bead up, clamp, First, hit, first strand in nice and secure. Okay, so we'll do it again. The next one, you want to leave probably a nice, probably not a whole finger space, but half a finger space in between. This is because you don't want hair to be pulling up together, because if you put it right next to it, that's going to all pull and puts it up, and it's going to cause discomfort for your client. So you need to leave hair in between, so there's a nice gap for when they put it up. So I'm going to that nice square again at the base. Grab your loop pull, push it through. Bead, slide it on. Put your bead in place. Now when you do do this, you will do apply hair. That is the same colour as your client's hair. And the beads will be the same colour as well. I'm just using what I've got at home in this tutorial. I'm using blonde because it is easier for you to see. And sometimes you'll also find that these tips are really thick so they won't go through the actual bead. That's okay because you can flatten them out with a straight iron, but we'll talk about that later on. See, sometimes it's too thick to go through. If 
you find that does happen to you a couple times, grab your straightener and just flatten them out. Hold it on there for a few seconds, and then you your um once the heat it'll hold the straightener on the tip for a few seconds. Hold it on and it will flatten out. Okay, so again, scalp's there, probably one to three centimeters down, so it's not causing discomfort for your client. Hold it into place. Grab your bead. Slide it up. Clamp into place. You want it to be nice and neat in a row. And we do this all the way along until we get to the end, but we do need to leave one to three centimeters hair on each side. So we'll probably only put one to two more in there. So when she puts it up, the next row will be covered. So I'll just finish this row off. Again, leaving that gap in the middle so when she puts her hair up, it doesn't cause her discomfort. Slide it up. Oh, these tips are really big. Depending what supplier you go with will be dependent on how big your um, ends of your hair are. You might have to go through them prior and shrink more because these are extremely thick okay here's some fourth so we'll go through see I'll just slid that up really quickly that's by pulling on the natural hair it's not going to cause any discomfort as long as you're supporting the top of the hair really tight slide it up clamp I can probably get one more in there so it's going to be able to hide it easily. Slide your bead up. Pull it up. Grab your hair. It's quite a repetitive process. You do this all the way to the top of the scalp. Let's be nice and neat in a row. Clamp tight. Just do the other side now. So there, I've gone not right to the end as you can see. You can see when that's up, that'll cover. You won't be able to tell she's got extensions in. This one looks very thick again. this all the way along until you get to the end but leave the hair on the side shift through now see Pulling through tension, it's not going to hurt the head if you're supporting up there. So we fit one more this side and we're done with the first row. end up with hair everywhere as well by the way. Right, pushing it through. It's a bit low 
toes. I'm just going to push it up a bit higher. And climb in sharp. And there's our first row in. As you can see, I've left hair each side. So when it's up, it's covered. And you're not going to see that through there once it's up. Right down the bottom. Okay, so to remove it, all we're doing is grabbing the hair. Now, after four to six weeks, each client will want to move up because by the time their hair's grown four to six weeks, it'll move, the bead will gradually move down and it'll move down to here. So they're going to want to move up to make sure they don't come out. If the client has really slippery hair, a double bead as well. So that's just applying two beads. So grabbing it, your hair, put pressure down here. Grabbing your clippers and just clamping in the opposite direction. So in a um, horizontal direction and then it slides out. And you want to cause as much natural hair loss as possible. First one out. Let's show you that again. So just grab it. Clamp it horizontally till it wants to slide out. So do that all the way across. So after six, four to six weeks time, they'll come back to you. You just take them all out and put them all in again. That's called a move, move up. Much quicker taking them out than just putting them in. Now, traditionally, once I've done that line, I'm going to go one to three centimeters in again. And do the next row and then do one above that one three centimeters and keep working all my way up right up to the top of the crown remember it's about five centimeters just down from the crown just because you don't want to see them sticking out so you just do row by row by row until you get to the top of the crown make sure you watch the next video because I'll show you what to do how to ins install inspections microbead extensions in the sides and in her fringe thank you